<clears throat> What's up, humans? We got a new one today. Is it really new? It's a new old one. Coming back from 1998, the Ronnie Krieger from S Footwear. This thing has been highly sought after. People have been asking me about this shoe for probably a year now, wondering when we're going to get it. Um, I don't know if it even leaked, but somehow people knew about it. We got it in two colors right here. You got your Krieger branding on top. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it if I turn this on? Whoa, stupid ring light. We're turning it back off. Okay, anyway, here is your black and gray colorway in the Krieger. This is a size nine. Boom, dudes, these are 125 bucks. You can pre-order them now on BlueTileSC.com and we'll ship them tomorrow because the release date is tomorrow. So BlueTileSC.com, um, yeah, check it out. We got some pennies on there. We got some Costins and some Mark Johnsons as well. If you're looking for that old school vibe, we got you covered. Um, let us know what you're looking for. If you go to the site and you don't see something, chime in in the comments and let us know what you're looking for. But for now, we're gonna bust this thing open. Here is your Ronnie Krieger legendary skateboarder. Ooh, legendary shoe. Check this thing out. This thing is huge, just like you love it from back in the 90s. 1998 is what I read. I think that is pretty accurate. So late 90s, early 2000s, we were seeing this shoe right here. This is your Krieger branding on the tongue. You definitely got your fat tongue here and your S and Krieger branding on the tongue there. Um, this has these like, this is kind of reminiscent of the old Muska shoe as well, which might also be coming down the pipeline if you guys are paying attention. So the Muska shoe also had these little like knobs, but they were rubber, but these like little these little bumps that pop out, it kind of helps protect the shoe. I don't know how much you're protecting back here. It's mostly aesthetic, but it's kind of cool looking. And then you've got your recessed uh, reflective um, vibe, your 3M underneath the suede right there. S branding on the quarter panel looks pretty sick. And then again, on this toe box, you have the 3M shining through the uh, the hole punches on the toe box. So there you go. You still have your your airbag unit there. And then here is your outsole. You get a little bit more traction here on the tip of the toe and the heel. Um, this extra traction is just gonna make the sole last a little longer in those areas. Um, yeah, so there you go. S branding as you expected and this is your black gray colorway. Um, you even have these little like recessed lace areas so that your, um, your laces don't pop as easily because they're kind of sunken in. So um, triple layer, you got your triple stitch here, but also triple layer toe with your rubber and uh, double suede on there. So we'll see. I don't know how you could, you have to really be trying to wear out the toe box on this shoe. That's gonna last a long time. So if you get these shoes and you wear them out, I wanna hear, I wanna see the photos. I want you to tag me in the pictures. I wanna know how long it took you to do it because these things are tanks. So if you're skating in these shoes and you wear them out just naturally from skateboarding, let me know. I want to see photos. I want to see how they wore. Um, maybe we'll have one of the guys locally skating these and we can show you how ours wore. So we'll just see how that goes. Um, there is the inside panels of the shoe. Pretty similar to the other side. Um, just no S branding here, but you still have those little, those little uh, bumps or nodules there. S branding on the heel with your pull tab to help you get it on. And then, of course, you've got your, um, you can see your um, tongue straps in there. And then your perforated um, 
EVA insole with your little arch support there and Rodney Krieger's branding on the insole as well. Dudes, all the support for this shoe is built into the outsole. So you don't need that cool, crazy, thick foam insole because you've got this airbag and obviously a pretty thick outsole for you guys. So again, this is the black gray colorway. We're gonna look at the all gray colorway in just a second. But first, you do have some extra laces. Your alternate laces are yellow. Um, I'm kind of a black, I would leave the black laces in there. But if you like that extra pop, the yellow would look pretty sick. So yeah, there you go. That is the black colorway. Um, I haven't tried these on. I'll try them on before the end of the video and let you know how they fit. These release tomorrow, June 29th. And um, yeah, they're 125. Uh, let's look at the gray ones. Something I just noticed while taking these out, one of the most highly demanded shoes in skateboarding is back. The Ronnie Krieger himself has been one of the most innovative and stylish skaters to come out of the 90s, and 30 years later, he's still ripping. Uh, can you see that above and beyond? All that good stuff. There you go. That's, the, uh, that's inside the box. So there you go. A little bit of extra detail. And there's your, your Krieger S branding on the, the box paper and then here's your all gray gray and red if you will this is kind of a bluish gray if you ask me it's kind of a slate tone on the um, tongue and everything but it's just like a nice light medium gray um, with your red details on the shoe the shoe according to Don I talked to Don at S yesterday this is an exact replica. Both of these are exact replicas of past releases of Ronnie Krieger shoes. If you disagree with that, please let me know in the comments below. I called, I called Don yesterday and asked him, talked to him about these shoes. Um, I know they're really excited and I know they feel the demand for this shoe. We've definitely been getting the phone calls and uh, a lot of DMs about this shoe. So it's finally here in two colors this is the gray again in your 125 range all your s branding on this thing pull tab on the back of this one as well dude i like the gray one this this is my vibe right here i think the gray one looks a little better if you ask me i just uh i don't know when i opened the shop 22 stinking years ago it was like I basically couldn't sell a shoe that wasn't all black to the floor with a gum bottom. So now, 20-something years later, I'm just like, give me the color, man. This is nice. I like the gray color of this shoe. Um, it looked good with jeans. That's all I'm saying, you know? Um, the black ones are sick, too. The black one's probably going to go better than the, the gray one. Most people like black shoes. There's a look at your toe down on the gray shoe. Uh, obviously very similar to the black one and there's your branding on the tongue um, I didn't lace these up but you can imagine what they look like laced up right you know what a shoe looks like laced up um, plus this just makes it look puffier than ever and that's what you're looking for right so there you go the s Ronnie Krieger 30 something years later pretty crazy or 30 years later yeah 30 years no is it 25 years later math is weird what do you guys think of the price of these things 125 I think they were a hundred bucks when they were in the store 25 years ago or whatever it was so 125 does not sound ridiculous to me sounds actually kind of low for as much material and as much uh, just layers there are on this shoe so um, I think 125 seems pretty appropriate you guys let me know what you think because I feel like the skateboard customer is always just looking for a deal and they usually wait for things to go on sale. So are you prepared to pay $125 for this Ronnie Krieger? I hope so because that's what it needs to sell for to support Ronnie Krieger and to support S Footwear and Blue Tile because, you know, we got to eat as well. So there you go. There it is. I'm going to try these things on really quick so I can let you know if they are true to size or not. But, um... There you go. Two colorways. You can order them right now on bluetilesc.com and they will ship out tomorrow. So technically a pre-order. Um, not really. 
but sort of. Um, yeah, they release tomorrow. One other thing, the gray one comes with these red laces if you are so inclined to swap out the laces to red. So, boom. Dude, this gray one's sick. What do you guys think? Which one's your favorite? Again, let me know in the comments below. Um, also, give me some background. Who are you? Why are you into this shoe? Are you older and you're stoked on it because it's nostalgic? Or are you younger and you're just looking for that cool vibe? Let me know. I want to know in the comments below. Hold on. I'll let you know how these fit. All right, guys, a little background information. I'm typically an 11 and a half in almost every shoe. Um, I got a 12 in the Tom Pennies because I was expecting them to be like Excels. Um, the Excel runs a little small to me, so I have to get 12s in Excel OGs and Excel Slims. Um, this shoe, I tried on the 11. We don't have an 11 and a half. The 11 is definitely too small. The 12 feels right, so I'm thinking the 12, I would probably go up a half size for these, but you could probably go true to size. Um, it's just my toe is right at the end of this 12, and I'm typically an 11 and a half. Um, the pennies ran really big in a size 12, so I wish I got the 11 and a half, but I did not. I got 12s. So there, whatever that is for you guys, that's what I got for you. I would probably go up a half size, but somebody's gonna hate me for saying that, so just try them on. Go to your local skate shop if you can. Try them on. If not, you know, get them on bluetilesc.com. They could run true to size, but it's a little small on the true to size scale, if that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense. I'm doing the best I can. I would get a 12. I would get an 11 and a half in the penny but I get a 12 and the OG Excel also. So that, take that for what it is, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. All the best. Love blue tile. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.